If you want to build a strong and lean lower body from the comfort of your own home, then this is exactly how to do it. Hey there, Coach Tyler here, and today I wanted to show you the simple way to build lower body strength at home using just one exercise. And that exercise is the one leg squat, which targets your quads, calves, hamstrings, and if you do it right, your glutes too. So here's how this video is gonna work. I'm gonna start out by teaching the simplest variation of the one-legged squat with perfect form. And don't be surprised because the first four variations are on two legs, so you can build a strong foundation before moving to the harder one-leg variation. Then, if you're able to do 10 reps of the first variation with perfect form, you can move on, and I'll show you the next variation. We'll repeat this over and over again, and we're gonna go through seven different one-leg squat variations so you can find the one that fits your current level of strength and can use it to consistently build lower body strength from the comfort of your own home. Then, after I share these variations with you, I'll set you up with a simple routine you can do three days a week to gain some serious lower body strength from home. Okay, real quick, before we dive into the first and easiest variation, do us a quick favor and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video just like this. Great, now let's dive into the first variation of this amazing lower body exercise. Variation number one, supported half squats with feet together. This exercise is called the supported half squat with feet together, and it's a great exercise for building the foundational strength necessary and the flexibility to eventually being able to do a one-legged squat, which I believe is one of the best exercises for supporting your entire lower body and making sure it's balanced and coordinated at the same time. So to do this exercise, bring your feet together, squeeze your knees together the entire time, bring your hands down on your thighs, come halfway down into a squat, slow and controlled, and if you need to, use your hand for support and balance, and then stand back up. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you come up, and if you need to, you can even put a chair next to you for support or something that will help you with balance. The whole goal here is to get comfortable with your feet together, your knees together, your legs working in this motion, and starting the process of being able to go up and down while everything is balanced on the center line of your body. Practice this variation slowly, and if you can do 10 slow and controlled reps with perfect form, you can move on to the next variation. Variation number two, supported sit to stands with feet together. This exercise is called the supported sit to stand with feet together. And even though it's a beginner exercise, it's a great exercise to prepare you for being able to do a one-legged squat, which I think is one of the best lower body exercises in the world. So bring your feet together with your toes facing straight forward, squeeze your knees together, place your hands on your thighs, inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up, and move slow and control. So you're gonna bring your knees forward and your butt back, tap your butt to the chair, press your feet into the ground, and stand up in a slow and controlled manner. If you need to, you can use these hands for support as you stand up from the bottom position, or if you have to, you can put additional things around you to help support your balance. Move slow and controlled on this exercise, trying to focus on perfect form, and if you can do 10 reps with perfect form, then go to the next variation. Variation number three, sit to stands with feet together. This exercise is called the sit to stand with feet together, and it's a great exercise for getting your ankles to be more flexible and strengthening your quads at the same time. All right, to do this exercise, bring your feet together with your toes facing straight forward, then squeeze your knees together. From there, try to keep everything balanced. Inhale as you go down, this time with your hands out front and not supporting you, sit down and stand back up. You're gonna inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up, and try to move nice and slow and controlled and try to be methodical. You should really feel your muscles, especially of your quads and your glutes and your hamstrings working as you do this exercise. Practice slow and controlled, and if you can do 10 reps with perfect form, then move on to the next variation. Variation number four, squats with feet together. This exercise is called squats with feet together, and it's such a great exercise for improving your flexibility and strength of your lower body at the same time and preparing you to be able to do that first one-legged squat. So bring your feet together, with your toes facing straight forward. Try to keep your knees together, but as you go deeper and deeper, it's okay if your knees come apart a little bit. From there, think about tall posture to the top of your head as you do this exercise. Try not to worry so much about the lower back rounding if you're going deeper and deeper. Then from there, you're going to inhale as you go down, coming as deep as you can, trying to keep those knees together if you can, all the way down to the bottom, and then stand back up. 
You wanna move slow and controlled, and you wanna make sure that you have perfect form on every rep. From the side, what we wanna make sure of is that we don't lift up on our toes like this and that our feet stay flat on the ground. Again, try not to worry about the lower back and the upper back, because it will round as you go below parallel. But we wanna be able to come down as deep as we can, ideally with our hamstrings resting on our calves if possible, and then stand back up. Practice this exercise slow and controlled, and if you can do 10 reps with perfect form, then you can move on to the next variation. Variation number five, one down, two up, sit to stand. This exercise is called the one down, two up, sit to stand. And it is one of the best exercises for really preparing you to be able to do lower body exercises like the one-legged squat on that one leg. So to do this exercise, start, bring your feet together, squeeze your knees together, and then lift one leg. Find your balance. If you need to, you can put something around you for that balance. Come down as slow as you can, making sure that knee stays going the same direction as your toes. Sit down, put your feet together, stand up and repeat on the other side. So slow and controlled, takes about two, three seconds on the way down, put your feet together, stand back up. Inhale as you go down, put your feet together, exhale as you come up. Repeat that exercise, slow and controlled, really focusing on making sure that knee is stable. And if you can do that for 10 slow and controlled reps, move on to the next variation. Variation number six, alternating one leg sit to stand. This exercise is called the alternating one leg sit to stand. And it's such a great exercise for your lower body because you're really learning how to use one leg at a time and strengthen and balance with one leg at a time. So to do this perfectly, bring your feet together, stand right in front of a chair. And what you're gonna do is find your balance, make sure your hips are straight forward and they're not tipped from side to side. Lift one leg and come down. You can bring your hands up for support. After your butt touches the chair, stand back up on that one leg and then switch leg. You're gonna inhale as you go down. Again, slow and controlled. Exhale as you come up and repeat back and forth. Now, if you can just tap your butt to the chair and stand back up without fully sitting down like this, just a light tap and then stand back up. It's gonna give you even more strength that's gonna prepare you for the next variation. So practice this slow and controlled. Again, really focusing on that knee, going the same direction as your toes and making sure you're Pelvis isn't twisting and turning or tipping from side to side. And if you can do it for 10 slow and controlled reps, move on to the next variation. Variation number seven, alternating one leg squats. This exercise is called the alternating one leg squat. And I think it's one of the best lower body exercises in the world because it teaches you balance, coordination, flexibility, and strengthens all the muscles of your lower body at the same time. So. First, make sure you can do all the other variations before doing this advanced variation. Those lead up to this and make sure that you have all the other points that you need to know on lockdown before you do this exercise to make sure you don't get hurt. Now, if you want to try this exercise, put your feet on the ground, try to grip the ground with your toes, put 70% on your heels and make sure all three points of your foot on the outside of the balls and on your heel are in contact with the ground the whole time. From there, bring your leg forward, you can put your hands on your hips or just out for support and balance like this. Come down as deep as you feel comfortable, inhaling as you go down, and exhale as you come back up, slow and controlled. Make sure you try to make sure this knee doesn't wave in or wiggle out too much, which is why you need to move very slow and controlled, okay? Now with this exercise, it can be helpful in the bottom position, if you haven't gained the strength yet, to squeeze your hands and squeeze your core muscles extra tight like this. Inhaling as you go down for that big rep. When you feel like you're about to lose it, exhale and squeeze everything at the same time as you extend to that top position. Now, make sure that foot stays flat, make sure that knee goes the same direction as the toes, and make sure that core stays tight and you have tall posture the entire time. If you can do this exercise, and if you can do it for 10 reps, then you're gonna have legs of steel that you can get from the comfort of your own. Hey, I'm excited to share that simple routine that you can use three days a week to gain lower body strength from home. But before we get there, I wanted to mention that if you wanna work out from home and you like the way we broke down this exercise into seven different variations, then you'll love the workouts that we sent to our members at warriormade.com. And that's because we've broken down every single exercise we use, bodyweight exercises, into several variations. So you're always using the exercises that are appropriate for your individual body. We believe that this is the best way to exercise and the results we've seen from our members are nothing short of spectacular. So 
to give our follow along scalable home workout to try. Just click the link below either now or after you finish this video and you can try it for free on me. Okay, now that you know the seven different variations of the one-legged squat, let me go over how you can use them in a one month workout plan that you can do from home to gain lower body strength. To start, choose which variation you are going to use. This should be the variation that you could do 10 perfect reps with. Now, once you know what variation you're gonna use, let me show you a simple one month workout program you can use to steadily build the amount of total reps you can do and when you should move to the next variation. So to start, plan on doing this simple routine three days a week, ideally with at least one day rest between each workout. From there, just follow the exact rep progression on each workout and you'll be well on your way to gaining strength at home. Here's what this looks like over the course of a month. Okay, there you have it. A simple way for you to gain lower body strength at home. So what's next? Well, since we're talking about lower body workouts that you can do from home, let's jump over to a video where I go over five of my favorite lower body exercises that you can do from home right here. In this video, I'll show you five different exercises and some beginner, intermediate, and advanced variations for each that you can use along with the one-legged squat to gain even more lower body strength from home. But before you take off, make sure you leave a comment letting me know which variation you're starting out with. Making a public commitment like this gives you that extra push to complete the full month, okay? Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.